this Judgment Day 2.0 is hitting Rhea and Damian Priest, the Terror Twins. That's what they're calling themselves. I'm here for that. The pop that Rhea got was incredible. Damian is over as a baby face. They will need some help against this Judgment Day. I wonder who the recruits are going to be. I kind of mentioned LWO, and then Priest can lead that with the with the blessing of Ray if that happens to go in that direction to really piss off Dominic even more. I don't know how they're going to do it, but we'll get there eventually because I think that Jay will have other family responsibilities with the bloodline come the fall. But I liked everything about this segment. This can go on for months and maybe perhaps potentially they could do a war games match at survivor series. Cause it justifies it. Yeah. I've been uh, thinking about this and, you know, Liv Morgan, I think she's going to, you're going to need something to extend this feud. And I think to kind of differentiate this version of the judgment day, you want to, you want to do things a little bit differently. And I think, this version of the Judgment Day could use two ladies in it. And I would have Liv bring in a little bit of muscle if she's ready to come back. Uh, and that would be Raquel. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I think she would be a great uh, heavy for Liv to have back there. Just her presence in the entire group. Judgment Day having that female presence that can stand up to any man and throw them around just like Rhea Ripley was doing. I think that would add a ton now you have two women who will always be in a main event angle of some sort, a main event match of some sort. You put Raquel right back into it, the top mix. Her and Rhea can have some matches. Now Rhea has something to do that doesn't involve the title for a little bit, but her focus and story is still mingling and mixing up with Liv Morgan. So I think that's a good way to extend Liv and Rhea because ultimately I'm guessing Rhea has to beat Liv to get that title back, and this is a good way to extend that. On the men's side, like you mentioned, I don't know who uh, Damian Priest turns to. I, I think it's going to be interesting because he's he's got a lot of enemies now. Just like Jey Uso had a lot of enemies. He's going to have to go on a little bit of a redemption tour. Who's going to be that first person to stick out that olive branch? And one other thing I want to mention, JD is, I you know, I'm, I'm extremely high on him. I think he's one of the best wrestlers in the entire company. I Anybody he's in the ring with, he makes them look like a million bucks. He moves differently. He can move. He can keep up with anybody. He can change his pace. He can sell if he needs to. He can go after a limb if he needs to. I think he is one of the more underappreciated wrestlers because he doesn't win and he's not booked to win. He's one of the more underappreciated guys on that entire roster. I agree. He's great. I loved his work on NXT UK. He was great on NXT great on the main roster, a success story on the main roster, which I thought if there was another administration in charge, that would not be the case, but he was able to break through. He was a draft pick last year for the draft, and he has been a player in the judgment day. And as pre said, Hey, the only reason you got in here was because of your boyfriend, because of your boyfriend, I didn't want you in the damn group, but he's made his way. He's a tag team champion. He's getting tons of television time in a hot faction. So it's working for him. And he's really good in the ring as well. He did great work on Monday against Priest. And I love your theory, Scott, about Liv needing a heater. And there you have Raquel. If she's healthy, I know she's gone through some serious health issues over the last few months. I hope that her health is good before coming back. But I love the idea for two reasons. One, that is her former tag team partner. Mm -hmm. They left on good terms. And number two, Liv having a poppy and a mommy. Mm, I didn't think now. about that. I like that. I didn't think about that, but that would be great. Yes. Mommy Raquel and Daddy Dom. Woo. That that I, I didn't think about the mommy part, but that we got a new mommy. Oh, yes, we got a new, yes. That's it, right? We got a new mommy. And Dom can introduce her. I got a, yes. we got a new mommy. Oh, hey, that's, I, I like that. I, that adds a ton to it, the whole mommy daddy dynamic, especially the way I, I like that a lot. Dom, as you said, he's got too much sauce, man. He's going to have two women draped on him. Carlito, Carlito is. <laughs> 
Carlito <laughs> is just gonna be in the room. Just he's just gonna be staring. He's just gonna be in the corner holding an apple. Like he'll never take a bite of the apple. The apple will just be like at his mouth while his jaws drop, and he'll never take a bite. You'll just always see him in the corner, and guys will be talking about a plan. Yo, did you hear me? And then he'll take a bite. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> That, that's what's gonna happen when Carlito with Raquel joins that group, and you got those two all over Dominic Mysterio. Oh God, <laughs> Finn, this is the time to put on your mask and get the camera. You're the new camera guy. No, 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 no. The camera's gone. <laughs> <laughs> the camera's gone. Finn probably was like, "Hey, look, Damien's gone. That camera's gone. The mask is gone. We ain't doing none of that weird stuff no more." Okay. <laughs> None of that. Under the new judgment day, we have zero kink. Okay. You do that off the clock on your own time. We clean it all this up. <laughs> okay. We clean it all. First of all, we get a new we get a new room. We're not even staying in this room. Yes, we, we get a new, new clubhouse. We're gonna get it like new renovations, new lights, new drapes, new scenery, new chairs. It's gonna be redone up. Mm-hmm. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So I love that. So I pending Raquel's health, I'm here for that the new mommy coming through. Let's do that. I'm here. I feel that would be pretty badass, honestly, because Rhea, you're being replaced twice over and that has to suck big time. There's history there with her and Raquel. They've had, they haven't had great match. They haven't had great matches on the main roster. They have an NXT. I hope they can recreate that magic with this feud if it comes to pass, but don't count out the OWO in terms of Ray giving his blessing because that is the man that Damien has to apologize to the most. Yeah, I guess so. That's he fine. needs help. He needs, it won't be Jay because Jay has bloodline business. It will not be him. So it, it has to be Ray. It's probably going to be our truth in the Miz. Oh, no, hell no, because the Miz is about to flip on our truth. It'll probably be our truth, though. Yeah, you. He you know does what? have a soft. He's always had a little bit of a soft spot for our truth. Yeah, R-Truth. he did. You know, yeah, it's like, fuck. It so I could see him being with Zane the Miz effect. for a little bit before. I think I could see them tagging up a little bit just because, like, they got the history. I could see our truth. Our truth is probably gonna put his put the team out there, be like, "Yo, we yeah, we'll help you out of this." Like, yo, what are you doing? We're not trying to get involved in this. Another another catalyst for the turn. Yeah, I think it'd be a temp thing, a temp thing, and then you eventually lead to Ray because he's ha- he has to mend that fence. So I yeah. do like that because yeah, they they did have a nice dynamic and. Truth would be there for him. And then Miz would be pissed off and said, why are we in this business? And that'll lead to the turn. And quite frankly, our truth deserves it because you were an idiot in that tag team match. That's why I didn't mention it. I'm just saying, yeah, dude. Yeah, we, don't, we, don't, we a, don't have to talk about that. It wasn't very good. And then he makes a blind tag that knocks out the Miz. Like, the fuck? Like, yeah. Whatever's <laughs> happening to you, you deserve it. I'm sorry. In game, Damian Priest, Rey Mysterio, and Bad Bunny versus Finn Balor, Ooh, uh, J.D. McDonough, Bunny. and Dominic Mysterio. Oh, my God. Bad Bunny, are you on tour for the rest of the year? Because if not, get in the ring and train now. Oh, my God. I need that in my life. Bad Bunny, where are you? Put Bad Bunny in the War Games match. Oh, my God. Yes. No, 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 no. No, actually, yes. You know. No, that's a bit. That's crazy. No, you know he'll tear it up, though. That man will deliver a Bunny Destroyer off the top of the cage. Come on. (laughs) That's that's the problem. That's 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 the problem. Okay, and then and then it, instead of it called WWE, it's just going to be called Bad Bunny. Yes, Bad BB BBE B-B-E. Bad Bunny Entertainment. <laughs> that sounds like the baddest label ever. BBE Bad Bunny Entertainment. Yes, I'm here for that. And that is another guy that Damian Priest has to apologize to for Puerto Rico. Like, hey, I'm sorry, man. Well, I know he, he took the L. He took the yeah. L, so he yeah. ain't got to apologize too much. He'd be like, listen, I'm sorry for the night before. Uh, I don't forgive you for beating me, though. <laughs> yeah, so we need that reconciliation. I need to check Bad Bunny's tour dates if he's available. 